order to beat a man, you got to beat the man. Okay. Fourth quarter, you down by three. You don't want the field goal. You want the touchdown. Yep. You tired of hearing my voice. Yep. You tired of hearing my slogans. Yep. I ain't scared to lose, but are you afraid to win? Nope. Huh. I guess we got to wait to the fourth quarter to see what happens. What's going on, people? It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay. Back again in the third round of the Sports Commentators March Madness. While my boy Graham just fumbles. He just drops. He got to drop items. He's dropping the ball. He's sleepy out there. The game is not going like I planned it to go. This guy basically right now, he's going up 10-0 on me. And it's just the beginning of the second quarter. He's already played me once. He's been watching me in the Sports Commentators March Madness. He's been watching me on my channel. So basically he knows my every moves. He's playing chess, I'm playing checkers. Putting me in a real bad position because I don't know what to do. But hey, I can always call on this guy. Mama, there go that man again. Y'all know his name. If you ain't gonna say it twice, you ain't saying it right. I thought that play would have set me up for a great pass to Moose. Maybe he can get loose. He kind of did, but unfortunately, Moose got to drop by this too. After that play, I did another run play. Only got me a couple yards. Put him in a position to try to get this field goal. Chip I thought shot. it would have been an easy field goal, considering the fact that I got a 99 overall kicker. No good. But I miss it. I don't know what happened. I mean, four win. And I still miss that. Now this guy is being quite disrespectful. He's winning 10-0. No He's going forward on fourth and one. He's like, I don't care about you. F your couch. F your couch. Man, where you going at? You try to pitch that ball off to the right side of the field, man. I'm going to run commit. And that's going to be the momentum change. I think so. Do you smell that? Do you smell like what? This, Who's that? Who's that singing? Rain drops would fall. What? Oh, Are you serious? Interception by Night Train on the opposite team. This guy is really reading me like a book right now. I need to change some things up. Maybe I should drop them in a the zone. See if I can get an interception. LT is there, baby. Let's go. Papa was a rolling stone. Whatever he laid, get your hands off me. Whatever he get off me. Whatever he laid, his hat was his home. You see my boy LT out there doing his thing. That got me in a great position with 16 seconds left in the second quarter. He's thinking I'm going to pass the ball back and off in coverage. I'm like, nah, wait a minute, man. All I want is three points. Just three. I don't care for seven. I'm just trying to get on the board. And you backed off in coverage. You made the mistake, buddy. Not me. Got my three points. Taking us on to the third quarter. The score is now 10-3. And I need to do something. I want to get the touchdown. But you know what? I see an old man out there chasing my boy Curtis Martin. You can't keep up with me, Ray Lewis. What are you doing? Great pass, great catch, but I was only able to get three points out of that drive. Again, this guy is still reading me like a book, playing chess, I'm playing checkers. He knows I'm a run commit to the left side of the field. He runs out with the quarterback, hits a man in the back of the end zone. I'm, I'm baffled right now. I don't know what's going on. I need to try to do something. So I decided to open up a store and start selling some screen passes like I always do. Hit him with the screen pass to the right side of the field. I'm just finding holes everywhere. Holes on every corner. Oh, my bad. I'm talking about my pimping days. But just holes everywhere. And he just cannot stop the screen pass. Now I'm looking at the field and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to send Moose straight up the field. Send him up, see if I can take the coverage deep and wait for my boy Rice to come to Rice. the middle of the field. Catch that ball. No fingers. Jerry Rice is doing his thing. Putting us in position to get another touchdown run by Curtis Martin. Great run. Great touchdown. Now the pressure is on him. That's the game changer. The pressure is on him because now he has to kill the clock because I want to lose him by five. And he's going to try to do a play like that. Not why J.J. Watt is right there. Not like that. So the score is now 17 to 12, man. People, the pressure is on. I'm trying to sell another screen pass, but he's there. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for it. 17 to 12, people. Fourth and 14. I need something. I need a prayer. Bow your heads and pray for me because I need something. Hey, Moose, huh? Get loose, man. Y'all see that touchdown by Moose? Moose getting loose out there. Man, y'all better pay attention to Moose. That touchdown puts me up by three points. With a timeout left in the fourth quarter, 15 seconds left, he hits Kellen Winslow Sr. running up the right side of the field. Great catch, but in order to beat a man, you gotta beat the man. I ain't scared to lose. I'm not scared at all. I ain't come this far to give up, though. You best believe that. Boom! Clean up it out, eight. Where you thought you was going at? You're not getting in that dang going end zone. The clock is going to wind down on him, just like it's winding down for this video. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Until the next one, it's your boy Jay, and I am his out.
From radio station 710 Seattle and 850 Cleveland, we bring you game 163. The Cleveland Indians face off against the Seattle Mariners in Safeco Field. The winner gets the second American League wildcard spot to face the Los Angeles Angels. The loser goes home. Battle of the two big men, Justin Matcherson and Blake Beaven, both over six foot six. Little dribbler back to Beaven to start the game off. Throw on to first. It's dropped by Morales, and Bourne will be safe at first. Throw on to second on the Bourne. Steal is not in time. That's a 62nd. Errant throw by Beaven into center field. The throw on to third will be late. Michael Bourne is over to third early on, and this fly ball of Michael Saunders will score Bourne, giving the Indians a one to nothing lead. Two mistakes by the Mariners early on. Answering right back in the bottom half, third year player out of North Carolina, Dustin Ackley gets a double into right center field. Bourne will field it, putting the Mariners in prime position to knot this game up back at one. The pitcher matches it's a deep fly ball to right field. Giving Chase his stubs, and that one is over his head, over the fence. Home run, his 20th of the season, and it's now 2-1. Seattle takes the lead. Two batters later, Jesus Montero rips a double into left center field. Ibanez over to third. He just gets into second base on that slide. Next batter is Kendrick Morales. He will drive Ibanez home on this slow grounder to second base. And it'll be 3-1 going into the break. That's a hard line drive past Kendrick Morales. Men on first and second. One man in scoring position with two outs. Beaven just missing his spots, working a 3-0 count. Time to fight it back, 3-1. Beaven has to collect himself, 3-1 count. Top of the second with two men on. Pitch, strike two on the two seam. Next pitch, strike three on the slider and Beaven gets out of the jam, 3-0 count. Jason Kipnis swung on and belted to deep center field. Away, back in, gone. Home run for Jason Kipnis, and it's 3-2. But this deep fly ball will fly, fly away as the Mariners answer back on the Kendrys Morales. Home run it is 4-2. Mariners extend their lead back to 2, and Dustin Ackley will get this dribbler past Kipnis, make it 5-2. Top 5, pitch from Beaven. It's a shot into the night sky. That's a no-doubter, and this game has turned into a slugfest. The fourth home run, it is 5-3 now. Indians reduce the gap to two. Still top five. This deep fly ball from Michael Bourne. It will land between the fielders, and this is a ground rule double. Next batter up is Michael Brantley, Washington native, facing off against his former favorite team. Hit a deep fly ball to center field. In comes Stubbs. The throw to third is not in time, and it's 5-4. Batter is Swisher, and he will ground out to Brendan Ryan, but Michael Bourne will come across, and it's a tie ball game. Top six, the pitch from Santos, the triple-A reliever coming in on the 40-man roster. That's a double into left field. Throw is late and offline, and the Indians take a 6-5 lead. Next batter is Michael Bourne, and he's going to ground this one just past Kyle Seeger. That's going to score the runner. That's a single for Bourne, and it's now 7-5. This little pop-up to Seeger by Brantley will end the inning and stop the bleeding, but now the Mariners are down by two. Kyle Seeger, it's a deep fly ball to right center field. This one will just stretch over the wall, and it's now 7-6. to six. Enter Oliver Perez. Straight three to Lonnie Chisenhall. Happy birthday. Next batter is AAA call-up Luis Hernandez. Ali will kick and deal. Straight three on the backdoor slider, and there are two down. Now the lefty ready. Branding iron hot. 3-2 pitch. K inserted, and he strikes out the side. In comes Vinny Pisano to face the legend himself, Raul Ibanez. A pitch. It's a liner into left center field. This will hit up against the wall. This should be two for Ibanez. The throw on will be late, and that's a double. With two outs, death to flying things himself. Frank Gutierrez up. It's a liner into left center field. Ibanez will score. Gutierrez will get two, and it's tied up at seven apiece for pinch hitter. Eric Timms. Big spot for Timms. Let's see what he can do. The pitch. It's a liner into right center field. In comes Gutierrez. Timms will get second, and the Mariners have taken an 8 to 7 lead. Enter Tom Wilhelmson going for save number 48, trying to propel the Mariners to the playoffs for the first time since 2000. The only man standing in the way is Washington native Michael Brantley. 0 2 pitch. Strike three, and the Mariners are going back to the playoffs after not having a divisional lead the entire season. They get the second wild card spot in game 163. I don't believe it. My, oh my.